There we go. Good morning, everybody. Hello, Welcome everyone. to this time tomorrow. Uh, we are, in case you don't know who we are, we are Martin and Leslie Usher. Um, Andrew's asked us to uh, tell you a little bit about ourselves and a bit about uh, our life during the pandemic, I guess. Um, we live in Chessfield. We're both retired now. We've been members at CPC how long? What? Quite a few years Five, now. six, seven years, possibly, something like that. Um, as I say, this, uh, we're both retired now, so uh, we live up by the sea in, in Chessfield, which is uh, near, near Tankerton. Um, this time tomorrow, Leslie, do you want to explain what it is you'll be doing tomorrow? Yes, well, Monday is pretty much a domestic <clears throat> day for me. Um, if it's half past 10 to 11, then I will have uh, put the laundry on, been shopping and probably having a cup of coffee right now. As for me, um, on a Monday, you'll find me in the Canterbury Food Bank warehouse, which is uh, very near where we live uh, in Swellcliffe. Um, many of you will be familiar with the uh, food bins in supermarkets for, for people who uh, are suffering food poverty. And you may wonder what happens to all that stuff Well, it gets picked up by the warehouse van and is taken to the warehouse. I'm one of a small team of volunteer um, shelf stackers and packers and we take all those uh, wonderful donations and uh, my job principally on a Monday is to sort them into date order and to stack them where we can and uh, in readiness for, for packing into bags which are then, then go off to various agencies around Canterbury to help those that are in dire need because of the dreadful situation of food poverty in this country. Um, it's a dire situation and the COVID pandemic hasn't helped at all. Uh, usage and demand upon the services of the food bank is, is up 350%. In the first 11 days of December, 6,000 meals worth of food went out. That's 48,000 since the start of the pandemic. That's uh, a very sad situation and, and the demand is, is very much increasing. When I first started at the food bank, <clears throat> excuse me, it was difficult to find space to, to store all the food there. Now I see lots of empty shelves. It's not because the donations aren't coming in, it's because the demand is so high. Um, so I would just urge you when you're next shopping in a supermarket, give some thought to those that, that um, struggle to put food on their table and buy a tin of meat or a tin of fish or or uh, dried pasta or fruit juice, something like that, and put it in the bin, I would urge you. Um, so that, anyway, that's where you'll find me generally on a Monday. It's quite hard work and it normally knocks me out for the rest of the day, I have to say, at my age, hefting crates of baked beans and soup and that sort of stuff around is, is quite hard. Um, during the, the pandemic, uh, the uh, opportunity to to uh, to for us on on our front lines has obviously taken a hit. Leslie, do you want to talk a bit about that? <clears throat> yes, uh, pre-pandemic, I suppose my front lines were various groups I belonged to, and I also used to volunteer at one of the um, outlet cafes for the food bank, and socialising with neighbours was a, another avenue. But of course, all of that has stopped now. Um, and I suppose the main thing is to be alert to opportunities if they should arise. I think the only place I go to now is the supermarket twice a week and going out walking either on my own or with Martin. Um, so <clears throat> that's the way it is. Yeah, I think I would echo that thought really. Obviously the more conventional opportunities to mix with the various groups that we belong to and various groups of people that we're friends with has, uh, has reduced. But for me, I think the first responsibility on us as, as Christians is really about who we are rather than who we witness to. And it's how genuine we hold our, our views and our faith and how that reflects through our day to day living. For, for me, I think the, the things that I stand by when, when I, I think to myself, well, what does God expect of me? Well, well, it says in the Old Testament in Micah, I think it says, you know, to act justly, love mercy, and to work hum and walk humbly with your God. Well, 
that means a lot to me, as does the, the great command in Matthew to love your neighbour, to love God, love your neighbour as yourself. But as Leslie said, I think we all of us have a responsibility to look for those opportunities that come along and be ready for them. And I think it says also in the New Testament, doesn't it? Be ready to give a reason for the hope that's within within us. Um, so certainly this, this last year, I found a restriction in the, in, in the ways in which I can meet with people, but new opportunities, I think, to to learn and to, to read. I think we both enjoyed the opportunity to actually mm. read more and to, uh, you know, keep, keep, keep things afresh, really. I mean, we've been Christians a long, long time, and it's very easy to get into a state of mind where you think you, you, you know stuff, when really and actually it's a lifelong journey of ex exploration and searching and Certainly discovery, is. isn't it? Yes, it yeah. is. Um, final word, really, from us, and words of encouragement. Andrew's asked us to share words of encouragement. Let's see, you go first. <clears throat> um, well, I would say that um, in line with what Martin's just been saying about reading, that when I was a very new Christian, probably about 35 years ago, there were two things that were really important to me. Um, one was to understand the Bible better, and the other was to have God as part of my life every day, not just Sundays. And taking up daily Bible reading notes sort of met those needs in a way. And if anyone doesn't already do it, I would strongly encourage to use daily Bible reading notes. Um, sometimes, and a lot of the time, it's, it's just a job to get done to read it and but sometimes there's light bulb moments when you get new understanding but I, I think I've concluded over the years that reading daily bible notes is a bit like a stalactite it's a slow drip 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 that builds up over the years and it's certainly worthwhile to do it keeps you connected with God mm. and as Martin has said we've had the luxury of lots of time uh, so we don't have a family here, so we're on our own. And uh, we've both of us done an, an awful lot of reading of Christian books. And it's been really interesting yeah. and uh, life-changing in, in many aspects. Yeah. yeah. Um, for me, I think I would encourage you with what encourages me. And um, I take great encouragement from the fact that CBC isn't a church that is stuck in its ways, stuck in tradition. I'm sure there are plenty of churches that have really struggled with the fact they can't do things the way they've always done them. We have adapted and I think that's that's a, a, a huge a huge thing for us. We have adapted and responded to the current circumstances and to the needs and demands out there. The work of CBC goes on. It doesn't rely upon the fact that we can't that we're not meeting together. The work goes on, the mission goes on, and it's great to see things like Renew 11, for example, the, the, the community cafe still going. So it had to adapt the way it works, but it's still out there meeting the needs of, of people. The, uh, yeah, the, the community fridge, for example, that sort of thing, and all of these initiatives. So I think let's take, let's take, take heart in the fact that um, this year we can see things are going to improve, but let's also learn from the opportunities that we've had this year. We've done things differently and maybe that's telling us that we need to do things differently in the future. Continue to do that. I'd like to think so. Um, so I think on that note, I think we've probably taken up far too much of, our, of your time. Otherwise, we'll be having a cold, cold dinner today. So from all of us here in Chessfield, we wish you we're missing you. We love you all. Look we look forward to seeing, to seeing you, you all again very soon. So have a good week and God bless you all. Bye bye. <clears throat>